Dear world, this is me, Jennifer Michelle Bittler Santos. I am a daughter, sister, girlfriend, classmate, friend, dancer, and teacher. This past year was possibly the most challenging and the most emotionally draining of my entire college career. Each day, I was challenged to think, write, reflect, analyze, assess, imagine, create, consider, reason, wonder, contemplate, and endure. After all of this, I was challenged to think even harder, reflect even more, relax even less, and continue imagining, creating, reasoning, wondering, and enduring. World, have you ever felt so overwhelmed with the seemingly infinite number of responsibilities that you just want to stop for a second? You just want to breathe. You just want someone to tell you that it's okay if you quit. I understand. You see, world, while I was going to class and student teaching, I also worked as a dance instructor and a children's ministry leader. Every day of every week was consumed with something, some responsibility, some form of thinking, some to-do that I had to get done by some immediate and nearing deadline. Every day was non-stop, go, 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 never ending, always moving, never stopping, always going. When would it end? When would it end? When would it end? Did I want it to end? Did I want my days that were completely consumed with children and teaching and dancing and more children and teaching and dancing? Did I want that to this end? Is the question I had to ask myself. When I was ready to quit and ready to stop and ready to give up, I had to ask myself if I really wanted to. I had to ask myself what could be more wonderful than working with children whose utter joy at the silly things in life make you joyful as well. What is more fulfilling than being able to educate and affect the young lives of children around me? What could be more of a blessing than teaching children in a ministry about the faith that is my life? And what is more exciting than dancing and teaching kids at the same time and getting paid for it? How many people in this world get to do what they love to do each and every day? I had to ask myself, is it possible that I, Jennifer Santos, get to be completely immersed within the passions that I so dearly love and cherish each and every day of the week? I get to do this? I get to be so fully consumed by what I love most in life? I had to ask myself, how could I ever want this to end? So you see, world, this is a list of questions that I already knew the answers to. I have summarized all that I have learned from my experience this past year with the following segment. When beginning a new venture in life, sometimes you just have to approach with caution and start out slow. Once you get the hang of everything, then you become more comfortable with the new experience and you can speed things up. Now you're really comfortable. You're able to take on new and complex ventures and attack them with a newfound confidence that has been developing inside of you, and you can just go with it and become consumed by it. Have at it. Attack with full force. You might be exhausted at this point. Slow down. Look back and see how far you've come and just relax. Enjoy yourself. World, I hope this letter finds you well. I've shared my past year's journey with you, and what I have learned is that love and passion must lead the way in life. May you search and find your loves and passions, and may they be fulfilled to the fullest. Yours truly, a devoted and passionate teacher, Jennifer Michelle Bittler Santos.